Hey guys, so here I am today with another plugin. This time it's a plugin that adds some some settings in the menu options. So let's take a look. First of all, you're gonna you're gonna see there's now some bars for the BGM volume for the for the volume options. And yeah, you, sorry for that. You see it can go up by five percent instead of twenty, but you can still go up by twenty if you use the enter button, but with the arrows it's all it's five percent so a bit more precision here. For now, there's a there's a game text font option which allows you to change the game font. Obviously, the quality carbon. There you go. These are not um, made by me. These are these are made by people people online. With it's copyright free. It was recommended by some random dude. So if you want to get them, there he has a video on them and he gives a link to download them. Except the Joker man. I think it comes with Windows. The, that one. Then there's the window skin option. You can change the window skin, and again, it's some uh, materials done by some people from the RPG community. It's copyright free. You just need to credit them. It, it, it and again, it's it was recommended by some random dude. So go go look up his video. He gives a link to download them. Then there's the window color option. Sorry. Window color option: the red, green, and blue. You can actually change the color of your window, like that. There you go. Then there's the window opacity. You can change the opacity of your window, just like this: zero up to 255. There you go. Then there's the menu background option. You can change the background in your menu, like just like that. There you go. So a very simple plugin. The uh, Menu option expansion plugin. There you go. There's a couple of uh, parameters there. You can change the default width of your window. The default one is 400, I believe. If you want it to be a bit larger, set it like to a higher number. The the window option fluidity it was for the um, the volume option bars. Adding a bar and and going up and down by 5% instead of 20% if you the if you use the arrows. Next, you can change the color of the bars for each uh, volume setting there. Then the text text font uh, feature. If you don't want it, just just set this parameter to false. It's going to remove it from your menu option, and you're going to you're going to use a default font font from the game. There you go. Next, um, if you if you're using the text font feature, you can set the the name that appears in the in the menu option here. So game text font, of course. Now, you, you, if you want to add some fonts, you're going to need to add them in the file names and the font name here. So uh, if, to do that, go into your into your file and your game file, go into fonts, and uh, just call, just paste whatever font you want to use, and then and then you need to install it before using it if it's not already installed on your computer. So yeah, to install it, just go here and click install. It's going to be installed, and then copy the file's name like this and then go into your file name and paste it just here into, into some quotation mark inside the brackets use the syntax here there you go and then go into the file name you need to put the the font family name so that's um that's a bit trickier i believe usually it's something that resemble this here than the the font names but it's not exactly i tried putting carbon b i b l i'm not sure if it's an i or l and it didn't work what i know is if i put carbon it works so uh, so yeah for duality it's just duality this works so usually it's something that resemble joker man it's joker man exactly like that and it's going to work if it doesn't work just look it up online there should be some tutorial how to get the real font name and yeah, just paste it here. Just make sure that the um, the font name for our number for the first one in the bracket it correspond for uh, to this one here, the first one here. So the second one here, the duality is the font name for here, the second one duality. There. Then there's a text font default, which is when you start up the the game for the first time, which font it's going to use by default. The zero is for the first one in the in the brackets. Two, one is for the second one. Two is for the third one, etc. Next, the next feature is the window skin feature. Um, if you don't want it, again, set the window skin feature parameter to false, and it's going to remove the feature from the game, and you're going to use the default window skin. And yeah, the again, the command name which appears in the window and the in the menu option. Sorry, and then you're going to have the window name names in the window file. So to install a new window skin, 
go into your project folder, go into image, and then system. And there you go. You, you just need to paste the, the, the window skin here. So the default one is this one, the win window, and then I've installed some window skin, two, three, four, and five. You can rename it like you want. It doesn't really matter. All you, all you need to do is copy the file name, go into window skin file names, and again, paste it inside the brackets, uh, inside the brackets and some quotation marks like this. There, whoops, sorry. There you go, and then you're gonna set um, the name of that particular window skin that appears in game. For example, when I've, when you select the the window skin four, it's gonna select this one. It's gonna select. It's gonna display futuristic in the and the window menu option. So yeah, again, the the default one is for is for the first one. So when you're using window, it's gonna it's gonna display default. When you're using the window skin two, it's gonna display gold. The third one, gold, gold plus, etc. You can set the names whatever, to whatever you like. And then there's the window skin default. When you start the game, which window skin you wanted to use. It's the same logic as a text font default. Next feature is the window color. Um, again, if you don't want it, set the window color feature to false. It's going to remove it from the game. And yeah, you can set the default red, green, and blue of the window. I believe it's all zero in RPG Maker by default. So you start out start out with a black window. So yeah. Next is the window opacity feature. If you again, if you don't want it, just set it to false. Uh, you're not gonna have it. And if you set it to true, you can set the window opacity name, which is the command. It, it should be command name. Sorry about that. It's the command name that's gonna appear in the in the menu option. And then you can set the default um, opacity. Uh, it's a value between 0 and 255, with 0 being you can't see it, and 255 the max opacity. You can set the color of the bar, of the opacity bar that appears in the, in the menu. Again, it's an RGBA system, so red, green, blue, and alpha. Zero for val values for red, blue, and green should be between zero and 255, with 255 being the maximum. And the alpha is a value between zero and one, with um, zero being it's completely transparent, you can't see it, and one it's uh, you can, you know, there's zero transparency, and you can't see it through it. Yeah, the last feature is the uh, menu background feature. If you don't want it, set the feature to false here, and you're not gonna have it. Uh, for some um, for some background, which image is larger or smaller than the, the the screen size? If you want it to fit exactly the screen size, set the stretch to true. If not, set it to false. It's not going to stretch stretch it to to match the window size. And yeah, window command name again. It's the command the command name that's going to appear on the window menu. The menu background names is and the file name is the same logic as a window skin. So to use a menu background, you need to the, put the image in the title one folder, titles one folder, excuse me, and then for example book, you you copy the name, you and you paste it and some quotation marks inside the bracket here. Oh yeah, I've already put books so. Yeah, exactly, exactly like that. And then you set the name that's gonna appear in game when you select that particular background. So for a book, it's gonna display book. You could set it to cool, cool stuff if you want. It's gonna display cool stuff instead of book, but it's still gonna load the book uh, file. So yeah, that that's pretty much it for. Oh yeah, oh sorry, I forgot the default one, which is um, which which background you want to use uh, as a default one and if you want to if you don't want an image you want to use the the map background like in the default RPG maker just in the file names just write default it's going to use the it's going to use the uh, the map background like uh, the one in the one you have in by default in RPG maker so yeah that's it for this plugin I hope you enjoy it if you did please leave a like and subscribe and the download link is going to be in the description and yeah, thank you very much.